Good evening, Internet world. It is Nicole at Duncan Door Couture and more. If you see that little red box up there, that means it's live. If it's not up there, that means it's a replay. I just cracked myself up because, again, I got it wrong. I can't believe I always get that wrong. One day. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be working on a, um, well, a hat, but I want to do a Christmas one and a Halloween one. But it's the same exact materials for both of them, and I just wanted to go ahead and show you um, what I have, what we're working with. And this idea originally came from Teen over at um, Coastal Design, Seashore Coastal Design. Hey, Jane, thank you for joining me. Um, she's the one that I saw this from, and I just thought this was such a smart idea. And now that I'm talking, I realized I forgot to grab something. Okay, I'm going to have to, I see a box. I'll just go steal from a box. I'll get through this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and point the camera down, and I'm going to start working so I can go ahead and get my hair up because I'm dying already. So what we're going to be working with today, oh, yeah, that didn't work very well. I re, had to rechange my camera, and okay. I'm putting my hair up. Uh, what we're working with today is lampshades and Dollar Tree socks. But I got two different size lampshades here. Uh, these guys are the same size because I discovered that not all lampshades are created equal. Um, these lampshades are bigger than these guys. So here, let me just take these away so you can see. So you can see the, the size difference there. Like one is much bigger. Um, why I'm pointing this out to you is because the big ones, the socks do not fit over. So you definitely want to keep it with the smaller ones. And I'll bust out my um, measuring so I can tell you exactly how big it is. Oh, sorry. Ah. Okay, let's see. Hey, Bethany. Hey, Faith. How you doing? I see I missed a comment. I'm sorry. Norma, my friend from Pompano. How you doing, honey? All right. So these are like five and a quarter inches in um, diameter up top and about three and a quarter inches on the bottom. Oh, I'm doing that backwards for you guys, sorry. So you just can see that. So close enough. So I would say between three to four inches is good. Um, these are the socks from Dollar Tree and they come out around Christmas time. I did stock up on them before. Sorry, I got all kinds of uh, <laughs> spider webs from the glue gun. Um, and this is the code if you needed it. I'm trying to make sure you get it. And the only thing we're going to do is literally slide the socks over. So uh, what I'm going to do is, and on this one, I'm not even going to bother pulling off any of the trim or anything. I'm just going to go right over it. But I am going to find where the um, seam of my sock is. Because I want to try and make sure I get that on the seam of the, the lampshade there. I'm just going to pull it all the way around. Thank you, Norma. I appreciate that. Debbie, thank you, thank you. Truly, trying to get internet famous one way or another. Now, what I realized I forgot to grab is the cardboard because that's what we're going to use for um, our rim. But you see that already? I mean, like, how simple is that? Can you, yeah, you already get the idea of what this is. And here's my seam here. So what I'm going to do is just move it because your uh, heel and everything's just going to get absorbed into the top of the hat, and there's nothing even there. But to me, that's perfect. So hold on, I'm going to grab a box because I'm going to rip it. Okay. I just grabbed a piece of cardboard. And for this, okay, this one isn't going to be big enough. Um, hmm. I'll have to grab another piece of cardboard. We'll make this one be the Christmas one because for the Christmas one, we don't need as big of a rim. So what I'm going to do is just basically eyeball. Um, I just want to get a little brim of a hat. I don't need the whole brim of the hat. So I'm just going to take this, get a pen. Oh, I knocked my fan off of me and I feel that. Oh, okay. There we go. I just gave myself a little guide there. Again, nothing perfect. I'm just going to cut that out. I'm just going to glue that into here. Oh, I didn't even need it that big, so let's go ahead and make that a little smaller. Hmm. 
I'm just eyeballing it now. Sorry, guys. I think I should do that a little bigger. Let's try that again. Completely winging it there, guys. Sorry. It's screaming hot in California. Oh, Jane, it's hot here right now, too. Like, it's the humidity. The humidity is what's killing me right now. I took a shower right before I came out, and I'm already just covered in sweat again. All right. So now, I'm just going to glue this onto... Yeah, making sure I was doing it on the right side. <laughs> Glue gun, what's up with you? I was using my glue gun earlier to make the uh, mermaid splashes. I think I might have killed it. Wow, it's like really not coming out. Making sure I'm plugged in here. Yeah. I just put it on the high. Let's give it a second to heat up there. Now I'm just going to take my sock and literally just wrap it on over here. Now I will use my hot glue gun and go all over this so I can press it onto there in order to get a nice shape. I am not, Amy, unfortunately, but I'm still trying, still hustling it. Honestly, the sad truth is um, I don't see me ever being able to get internet famous on just Facebook that I'm going to need to have um, a bigger platform like YouTube. And that's going to be me uploading all those videos up there. I've asked my kids because they're the ones with the computers. And they're guessing me. But it ain't happening. Okay. So you saw how I just literally wrapped it around there. And then on the bottom, I would usually leave this open because if you're going to do it, um, I like doing my globes. You know, my... Um, the fish globe with this on top of it and then it would be a, um, a battery pack to hide up in there and that would be the basic of the hat so now it would come time for the decorations and because this is a toy soldier hat that's why I just have the little brim there um, I have some jewelry here now I do have a whole bunch of jewelry that um, you know just pieces it's all different it could be like this was a piece of garland this is a bracelet um, another bracelet and it's all just pieces that I've collected accumulated and I save it because you never know what something is going to be like that's a corner from a picture frame but I can even see that as being on the hat here with a, uh, a couple feathers coming out of it like you see where I'm going with that and that's just a corner from a, a picture frame is all that is um, Thank you, Mar uh, Mary. I remembered. I see in my head I want to say Mari, but I remembered it's Mary. And this idea didn't come from me. I can't take credit. This is definitely teen uh, or teeny. And I'm not sure how you say it. T-E-E-N-E. -E -E, um, over at Coastal Style Design. She, she does some amazing things. Okay, I felt like I had to pull that down a little bit. All right. So let me see. Look at how cute that one is. That one too big for here, but you get the picture. Oh, I have this one for um the Halloween one. Ha ha ha. What about that? Now I know it should go up like that. I don't think I'm gonna be able to cut that off. Let's see. Let's try. Oh, yeah, no problem. Ha ha! Let's see, let's find some feathers to put in there. Let's see if I have any small ones. They all look about the same size. These I got off of uh, Wish or AliExpress, one of the two. Yes, uh, 
See, is okay, so is it pronounced teen like a teenager? Or is it teeny like itsy bitsy teeny weeny? Because <laughs> I'm really not sure. But she does like some, the way her mind thinks, woo, she's good. And I would recommend going over to her page. She's trying to build up her page also. I'm cutting my, I, I just feel like it's too big. And actually, I think it's kind of crooked too. Not that I'm opposed to the crooked, but not for my toy soldier. So I'm just going to trim this one down. I'm going to glue it on the back here. I, forgot. I put the glue gun on high, so now it's really coming out. And then we'll have to make a little glue, uh, a glue person for him to put on. I'll do that off camera, though, because I've shown you guys that before. All right, my fan is just ruining that <laughs> feather, though. But you see where that's going. All right, I'll move that one out of the way and we'll work on the Halloween one next. Let's see. Get those out of here. Clean up for a second. Oh, I gotta grab a bigger piece of cardboard. Actually, let me see if I can finagle something around here. I'm looking behind me to see. Um, I usually have like cardstock, but I don't think cardstock's gonna be thick enough. And I don't see any cardboard, so I am going to have to go grab a box. Hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on, I'm ripping a box. Okay, let's hope this is big enough then. Ta-da! All right, so the trick to this one is you use the opposite side. So um, this is going to be the bottom of our hat. We need to have a base and we're going to make the base by using the top of the hat for the diameter. Okay, yay! And we're going to do the same exact thing for this one like the other one. Uh, the difference with this one is your the bottom of the hat is going to be closed. If you do need it to be open, you got to just cut another hole inside here. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So if you need it in here, got to try and eyeball where you want it to be. You do the same thing for the inside. Ta -da. And then you want to try not to bend your cardboard. I'm cutting little stars in it so I can go through and cut them out. Or triangles, I guess I would say, not stars. Now I should have enough leeway to go through and cut without bending it up. Oh, I see that there's a comment there. I sadly cannot read it because I have sweat dripping in my eyes. So attractive. I'm so glad the camera's pointed down. So now we could just glue that right onto there. And you see how. Can you see the hat forming there? I guess I should take off my sticker here. I paid 99 cents at the thrift store. And I am going to peel off this only because I don't want it to um, bulk up my, my trim.
Notice I didn't throw that into the trash because I might use that on something else. Isn't that wrong? <laughs> That's actually kind of pretty trim. <laughs> and all of this will get hidden under our sock here. So now I'm just going to open up my sock. I'm trying to get off all the extra fuzz on there to where the seam is. And I'm going to align my seam on the edge as best as I can. And then after I have it on there, I can go ahead and move it. Okay. There it is. See, once it's on there, you can't even see it. That's, that's the best part about that. All right, I'm going to glue my rim. Making sure I get it all glued on. Okay. Now I'm just going to do spots on my cardboard so I can wrap the sock around that and try not to burn my fingers off. Paint trim yellow. Put on the black hat. Okay, on my the other hat, on the um, uh, toy soldier one. Sadly, my glue stuck when I ripped, uh, turned it over. See, where... <laughs> we'll hide that. Don't worry. Okay. You see our hat, though? Oh, hold on. I'm going to wipe my face and see if I can read them comments. Sorry, guys. Tell me that's not, like, the perfect little hat, though. Like, okay, I did pull a skeleton over, I mean, a skull, but it's not the right size. But like you see, and that's just a lampshade and a, a sock and some cardboard and glue. For this one though, I'm going to have to go back to those comments and I will to see about the yellow trim because I lost it. I'm going to, I'll find it and I'll read it. And then I'll uh, let you know what happens. But for this one, I pulled out some trim. Um... So I've, I had some gold. I thought maybe that might have worked with the uh, Toy Soldier one. And then this one looked too springy, but it was the only orange I found. And then I saw that I had this one, and I like this. What's the sock size? Let's see. This was... It doesn't even say, um, but I believe it's an adult. It's not definitely not a kid's pair, so it would be the adult's pair. But it doesn't say the size. I mean, here's the, uh, the code. I'll wait to see if... I can get it in there for you. Yeah, ta-da. That's the UPC from Dollar Tree. Okay. Now, uh, so this trim. Because we're doing the Halloween, I figured this one will work. I, I wish it was kind of thicker, but if we had to, we can double it up. I'm trying to see where it starts at. I've used this already, so I don't know I was going to say. It's not new. Alright, and then just trim. Alright, it would help if I held it in place. And I think I am going to double it up to make it look thicker. Oh, I still got it on high. <laughs> I realized it after I put my finger in it. I'm 
not even going to worry about making that a uh, finished edge because we're going to put something on top of it. Ooh. Okay, I thought that was a <laughs> spider web, but it's attached to string, so no. There we go. And we just got a little band there, so let's go ahead and do that again. Find where we ended it. Trying to make sure I line it right up. So we get that thicker line there. Had the right width ribbon that wouldn't be so tedious. that spider web. Ooh. I'm trying to see if I see a comment. Thank you whoever's responding. Oh that's my mom. Hi mom. Thank you. Hey Mary. I am making let's see we just did a um, toy soldier hat and now we're making a Halloween one but it is made with a lampshade and a sock. So ta-da! Okay. Let's see. Um, I said I wanted to put that feather. Let's see if the feather is the right size for this, though. No. Too big, but on another size hat, that'll look awesome. So let's see what else we got here. Nope, wrong color. I don't know if I have anything else in here I would want to use. Hmm. Let's see if we can find something else. In my head, I had the feather and that was it. See, I use these kind of things for um, eyes on my horses and unicorns. And it's just a pair of clip-on earrings. by myself I might have painted it in order to make it match but we ain't got time for that right now all right so let's see I'm going back to my feathers because I like them Like I already cut that feather for something else, so maybe not that one. Okay, this one's better. I'm looking for our ugly spot.
just hot gluing these bad boys down first. And then I'll saturate this one. And let me try and cut off. It has um, some pieces on the back. Let's see if I can get them off so I can get it to lay flat. One off. <laughs> Two off. Okay, that one's kind of on the flat side, so I'm not going to worry so much. Oh, I bent it up, though. Oh, let's fix that bit. Hey Barbara, thank you for joining. Thank you, Doris. And then it gives you an idea of what it would look like. Ta-da! And I do, I just think that's so clever. So, that was one way, I should have wiped up before. <laughs> Sorry guys, don't look, I'm all sweaty. Um, <laughs> that's one way though, of doing the, uh, the hats. Um, there's, you can also, with the same, using the same uh, lampshades, uh, roll fabric and you know wrap it in fabric. That's a little more work. I truly do like hey Lori How are you doing over there? Is everything okay from Barry? Um, but I like the sock idea only because to me that wow I really cool and I want you to know I notice it looks like I have black eyes. It's my lighting I don't have black eyes. I promise like if I got close you'd be able to see All right that one still looks black and blue. I don't know what's up with that But I don't I promise Alrighty guys I'm going to go hop back in the shower and go get into some air conditioning. I'll go through and read this. Um, I just got my mom into watching your videos. Aww. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do lives every day this summer. Um, but in all honesty, I have surgery um, not tomorrow, next Monday. And they warned me that, that that's going to knock me out. They said for two weeks. But realistically, ten days after my surgery, i got to go to New Orleans. So, and I told them that I have to go. <laughs> so I'm hoping... Um, I'm going in in my mindset that 20 years ago I got released after a C-section after 24 hours. That that's how strong I am. Um, but that was 20 years ago, and I don't know. So I, I'm hoping. So keep me in your prayers with that one, yeah. Because um, that's depending on how that goes is if I'm going to be able to do it or not. Um, I don't know yet. So we'll find out. But until then, I'll be going live every single day, and as long as I can, or. Um, if I can keep them uh, short, simple, and easy, you know, like, because that might be all I can handle, I'll do that for as long as I can. But once I'm better, I'll uh, I'll come back out again. Uh, not raining here right this minute. Oh, see, uh, we, it feels like it was going to rain all day, but never. It didn't rain today. I love thrift stores. Thank you, Jane. I truly do appreciate that. Um, as always, if you see something I make that you like, if you can go ahead and spread the love, I greatly appreciate it. I am on the quest to become internet famous. You know, I, I say that half jokingly and half truthfully, only because um, I really don't know what else to do with my life, and I just think that that, that would make us all happy, right? <laughs> I know it would make me happy, you know? <laughs> so that's why I say that. Alrighty, guys, until tomorrow, see you later. Love you. Bye. Thank you, thank you.